welcome to our virtual open evening for Year 6 students and their parents. My name is Mrs Pallia and I'm acting head teacher at St Gregory the Great School. Like you, we have prioritised safety in these difficult times and that is why we've made the decision to make this event a virtual one. Our vision at St Gregory's is that we champion each and every student. We know our students well, we teach good lessons and we have high expectations in everything we do. I'd now like to show you this vision in practice and pass on to our most important people in our community, which is our students. Thank you. I'm in year seven. My first few weeks at St. Greg's have been very good. My favourite lesson has been PA because we have been doing orienteering, capture the flag. In DT, we have been doing sewing and learning about textiles. And in science, we've been doing lots of experiments. My name is Emriella and I'm new to this school. I'm in year seven now. And uh, on the first day, I was quite nervous, but then I got used to it after a while. I met my friend here who's from primary and she's really nice. I've made new friends now in the school and they're all kind to me. I enjoy all my lessons and the teachers make all the lessons fun for me and I especially like DT. Lily Flanagan, I'd recommend this school to anyone because we have lots of opportunities like student ambassador and student council. At lunchtime and break time there's lots to do. Talk with your friends or go to the library and also other things like sports. The library has lots of books that you can enjoy up to humour and fiction which is a very good variety. Also our school is very healthy and safe due to coronavirus. We also have very good teachers. They are very good because they get the work done with everyone and teachers very well. Thank you for listening. Hello my name is Francisco Goodstadt and I, this is my second year at St Gregory's and I'm in year eight. I really like St Gregory's because of the fabulous opportunities and I especially like the library which is big and has a vi wide variety of books. All teachers are very kind and sympathetic. Th this school also has many opportunities like extracurricular op opportunities and student leading councils such as student ambassadors and school councils. Hi, my name is Alex. And my name is Tamela. But we're both in year nine in St. Gregory the Great. We started in year seven. I started a bit later than everyone, but still it didn't take me a long time to find my way around the school. Everyone was really welcoming. Our head of years and teachers helped out a lot. There is a lot that you can achieve in St. Greg's. During year seven, we got some important roles, such as being an ambassador, being a member of the year council, there are a lot of extracurricular activities, such as football, uh, tennis, badminton. At the end of the year, there was also activities week, where we chose activities out of a range, such as um, Harry Potter World, um, sh shopping at City Centre, uh, going to adventure theme parks and, uh, like Thought Park, um, or like school um, activity that you can do at school, for example, playing basketball or football or volleyball. We recommend you to come to our school because it's really easy to make friends and the lessons are fun and engaging. Uh, my name is Kathy and I'm at St. Gregory the Great Catholic School. I'm in year 10 and we're doing our GCSEs. At St. Gregory the Great, we offer a wide range of extracurricular activities and also have a diverse community. It will be great to see you and come join us in year 7. My name is Alan. My name is Christelle. And we've been here since year 7. And we're currently in year 11. So it's been quite a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, coming to the school has actually been a great experience. Like, for me, my favourite subject has got to be maps, geography, and of course science. And now, uh, it's actually brought into my knowledge on all of these subjects. The great teachers here, to be honest. Aside from academics, the people here are very welcoming. When I first came here, I was probably like mm, three people from my primary school and we weren't that close. So finding friends and being able to socialize was very welcoming in the sense that everyone here is very nice. 
and kind, and the teachers as well give you so much support. Hello, I'm Joe, and I'm head boy. I currently study maths, physics, and chemistry, and next year I like to study natural sciences at Cambridge University. And I'm Ella, and I'm head girl, and I study maths, business, and sociology, and next year I plan to study mathematics and business at the University of Bristol. What would we say makes St Greg's unique? First of all, it's a Catholic state school, which in its own way is unique for Oxford. Secondly, it's a school that represents who we are, the community of East Oxford. It not only is it wel welcoming and inclusive to all members of society, but it's striving towards excellence. Our school is able to cater for everyone's needs beyond the education, in order to build a strong, dedicated community. Our school is also able to explore individuals, personal development and growth, such as building confidence, working as a team and being respectful to one another. In what way do we give back to St Greg's and its community through our roles of leadership? For many years, I've taken part within the school council. This has given me the chance and others the ability to make our voices be heard and make a change to the school. An area within the school in which we made a change is within our canteen. We were also able to support our school at events during and after school, for example, the school quiz and the school bingo. What skills have we been able to de develop during our time at St Greg's? Us both have been able to develop our skills within having a great work ethic, having strong leadership skills and the ability to improve our grades. Personally, I managed to take part in a Royal Maths Institute class at Oxford University over, for over three years. And me and Ella and I have both taken part in sport and succeeded. For example, cricket, tennis, basketball and athletics. And we've both had good GCC results, which is our first set of school examinations. I'd like to thank you for listening. Welcome to our open evening. This is Questa St. Greg's, è una bella scuola, mi piace tanto. E speriamo se qualcuno vienerà qui, penso io. Quindi sì. Sveike i St. Gregory's. Carla Sorisa de St. Gregory's. Buon noci, benvenuto a St. Gregory. This is St. Gregory the Great Sports Hall. In here, we can play badminton, bouncer football and basketball and a variety of lots of more sports. Outside, we have the AstroTurf where we can play football and softball and rounders and many more. Upstairs, we have the gym, which I'll lead you to. Lo and behold, we have football shirts of famous footballers that have come previously come to our school. For example, Jordan and Peter. Just in here, we have our cardinal section, for example, treadmill and bicycle. Through the double doors, we have our weight room. For PE lessons, we'll be in here. You can use the dumbbells, the leg extensions, all the equipment down there. Sometimes after school, this room will be available as well as the cardio room for you to practice whatever you feel like you need to do. This is the sixth form common room. Uh, we have computers and desks for quiet work. And um, as you can see, we have two layers, which means we have loads of room for all of the sixth formers to make sure they've done the best. This is our master department. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Tamana and this is what we do on Maths Lessons. In Maths we have set 1 to 4, set 1 being the highest. Every year we take part in the National Maths Competition, which takes place in the Oxford University. At the end of every year, we do an end of year test which determines what set we will be in the following year. We hope you will find maths fun and engaging. because the teachers gave a lot of support but we were allowed to still be creative and integrate our ideas into like artistic forms. We have loads of mediums, so paint, sketchbooks, oil pastels. So I really enjoyed my time in art. So. one of our DT classes. This is one of our product design classes and we do cooking, textiles and much more in DT. Um, this can be frustrating but we can make life a lot easier when we're using uh, the saw. Why don't we try and cut on the table like that. Hello, my name is Aisha. I'm going to be talking about what we do in geography in year seven, year eight, and year nine. In year seven, we study about Brazil. In year eight, we do Africa and volcanoes and earthquakes. In year nine, we study about economic change and global warming. Hello, my name is Tanisha, and today I'll be talking about history, and I study in year nine. In year seven, we were learning about the Black Death, which was one of my favourite topics. We also learnt the long-term and short-term consequences and causes. In year eight, we were learning about the Black Power Movement, which is about the segregation between the black and white. In year nine, we have just started learning about World War I and World War II. Um, you know, it's very often when we are walking, we're seen walking down the corridor and we're talking to the students, we're interacting with them, finding out how their day has been. And also in how we interact with staff, we're very caring about each other, we're there to support each other at the end of the day. Um, and what I love about it, that the students of this school is just the friendliness, the fact that they are not, you know, not afraid to say hi to us. Um, and it's almost like this golden thread that holds us all together. We, we're like a big family and a big community. It's a very happy place to teach in for me and certainly a happy place for the students to be part of. Um, for many of our students, some, some are Catholic, some, some are from other faiths, some perhaps have no faith. Um, but we all do come together for collective worship um, in, in the form of mass or assemblies. Um, and of course there's prayer involved in that. So generally uh, the heart of whatever we do, we explain things well, make sure everyone can participate as far as they can. So um, Catholic life in the school is, is definitely present and it transforms what we do 
but it's not overbearing. Um, you know, it's very much part of the day-to-day, -day, what, what we're about. So I kind of look at it in terms of the golden rule. Everyone here, all the time we're reminded to treat others as we like to be treated, and everyone can buy into that, whether they're Christian, or Catholic, or perhaps they might be from Muslim background, or maybe they have no faith, but everyone can, can buy into treating each other with, with the best respect that they can and that they like to receive themselves. And for me, that's really what, what makes the difference here. Um, so we pray in the morning, a um, short prayer, short reflection, perhaps it's something that's going on in the school or the, the world, just like, just like in other schools. However, we do put Christ at the centre of what we do. And that, what, that's what makes uh, St Greg's, for me, a very special place to be. Hi, my name is Mr Edmund. I'm going to be your new year leader for year seven. This is such an exciting place to come and start your secondary career. I recently started here and um, all the kids have been so welcoming across all the year groups and the staff. And for you as year sevens, it'll be brilliant because you'll have specialist teachers in all of your subjects, which you haven't had before in primary school. You'll be in um, science labs doing experiments. You'll be in DT rooms using all the tools and the materials that they have there. So it's something that we're really excited for you to experience and you will get so much out of when you join St Gregory. Mm -hmm.